Hello everyone, my name is Lem Turner and I'm a brand evangelist here at Helium 10 and today we're going to be getting into our product rating conversions within follow-up. So let's get started. First thing we want to do is actually go to our follow-up page. So we're right here, we're at our follow-up page. We see our date range right here is December 1st, 2021 to January 25th, 2022. I'm looking at the past two months of data here. And the reason why I want to look at the past two months is just because I want to see a, give you guys a good example of how awesome our product reading conversions tool looks. So if we go here and we zoom in on the right side, you may see something new in your dashboard right here. It is our product rating conversions right there. It's going to show us our ratings received, ratings requested, and our conversion rate. Now, it's important to note that when it comes to our ratings requested, that's going to be attached to any of our automations that's literally requesting review, either utilizing Amazon's request for review template, since it has their own Amazon's tag in there, or if you're utilizing the custom message template and utilizing the request for review tag within there. Now, keep in mind, if you aren't using the Amazon's request for review template or you're not using the tag within the custom message template and you're just sending a custom message template just as asking for a review, but you don't have any tag incorporated into it, then it's not going to be pulled into the ratings requested since we don't have any means in order to pull that type of data in. Now, when it comes to our conversion rate, our conversion rate is just ratings received divided by ratings requested. So we can see our conversion rate right here in terms of our ratings is 36.9%, which I think is pretty good. It's definitely above industry standard for us. Now, when it comes to ratings received, how do we pull that information in? So that's gonna be based on your products that you're tracking within follow-up. So if we zoom out here, we're gonna go right to our products tab, which you're gonna see here is new. Now, you may see some current data being pulled in right there. You may see that you're already tracking ASINs, even though this is your first time to the page. Now, that's because this product, product review tracking enabled type of tool is talking with alerts. So if you already have ASINs that you're tracking in alerts, it's going to pull that information into here and track the same ASINs. And same thing for vice versa. If you're tracking ASINs in here and you enable it, it's going to also track them within alerts. It's not you have one or the other. You're tracking them for both. Now, in order to see all of our products in here, you can get an idea that we have all marketplaces in our product page right here. You can see Mexico, Canada, or United States. I'm just gonna go United States just to keep it easy for us. Now, our, we can see all of the products that we have enabled here, and we can see our review statistics and our current conversion rate. Now, it's important to keep in mind that we our conversion rate is 0%. And that's because it's pulling in just the past seven days. But if you want to look at a larger date range within there, then let's go to our coffin shelf right here. And we can go into a larger date range. Let's do the same date range I did at the beginning of this video, which was December 1st. We can see that our review rating has stayed consistent at 4.8 stars, which is awesome. We can also see a breakdown of our total reviews of the percentage and volume that's been in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 stars, which is really helpful for us to get an idea. What's nice here, and this is my favorite part, is I can see our conversion rate broken out by product. So I can see I've received 29 ratings out of the 216 I've requested. I can see the volume of how many I've requested during a certain period of time. So you can see we were really getting after it during the holiday season. We can see we have requested. We can see how many times I got a rating or a review. You see out of those ratings or reviews, how many were a one star, a two star, a three star, and a four star or a five star. And I really like this area. Same as how, as how we look at this data in order to form future business decisions, we can also utilize our review volume here in order to get an idea of what is typical for our product in terms of the average that we typically see. What's nice about the rating and review summary here and when we're tracking products is that you don't necessarily need to have an automation running in order to track reviews. Now, if you don't have an automation running and you do enable uh, tracking within your products, then you're, you'll be able to see your review rating and track that information, but you will not be able to see how many you've requested. You'll be able to see all this other information, but you won't be able to see how many you've requested just because you're not pulling in information from your automations, which is why we recommend that you do have automations running just because that's going to maximize the value of your content. Now, when we come to here, it's really easy just to start enabling products. So it's, it's literally just as easy as we can see this product is disabled, enabled to get access to review ratings and statistics. We're going to click on enable. It's going to take some time for that to, to pull in that information. Boom, we see it's already enabled. Now, keep in mind, though, this information is going is forward 
watching. So that means from this date on, it's gonna start tracking your reviews, tracking your ratings, and give you an idea of your statistics. It's not gonna pull in historical information like I mentioned earlier. Now what's nice about this is that we can see all of our information compiled here. We can go back to our main tab, which in our dashboard, and see it all within there, which is super helpful for us to see in terms of the eff efficacy of how our ratings and reviews have been acting for all of our products. So that's it for this video, and I'll see you on the next one.